The tentacles of this massive scam may reach to Canada, but it all starts here. Can you go inside the building now? One of Mumbai's sketchiest slums, and we're here because of a message you've probably heard. Canada Revenue Agency filed a lawsuit against your name. One of the largest cyber scams in Canadian history. There will be legal consequences and you will be arrested to defraud the government. Many of us just hang up here. Others will call back to confront the scammers. You are a journalist, right? Yes, I'm a journalist. Do you feel honest with your work? Yes. You feel honest? Because this is not honest. No, 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 no. Do you, do you feel bad about what you do every day? Yes. And many times every day, a Canadian falls for it. Why did you stay on the phone with him and not say, I need to hang up and, and call my accountant or do some research? Because I believe that he's trying to help me. Joe, as we're calling this man, handed over $36,000. When I realized I was so angry with myself. The scammers prey on seniors and immigrants, the most vulnerable, and use technology like phone number spoofing to make it look like they're legitimate, or software which prevents a call from disconnecting. More than 60,000 Canadians have complained about being targeted, millions of dollars stolen. They lack empathy, they're brainwashed also. They are nothing but they are financial terrorists. <laughs> In India, we're getting help to find those scammers, and it takes weeks, but our investigation leads to this apartment building. We send an undercover team inside. Seconds later, though, they're being chased out. Yep. They followed us, like, for one and a half kilometer. So we came all the way in the small lanes, cutting the roads. To escape? To escape, yes. Our team believed the gang was armed. Indian police know about this scam, but to take action, they need to know about the victims. And says Police Commissioner Paramvir Singh, the RCMP has never reached out. Nobody contacted us from Canada. You're telling me 60,000 people at least have complained in Canada sure. and nobody from Canada no, has told nobody you anything? Con nobody contacted us. We asked the RCMP directly about the Indians' assertion. They did not offer an explanation, wouldn't talk on camera, but did send a statement saying fraud is a global problem and the best way to combat these types of crimes is through prevention and public awareness. It certainly is key, but even still, the calls keep coming. While in India, the police say they're ready to act, if only the Mounties would call and ask for help. And David Common joins us now in the studio. You mentioned spoofing. Why don't you explain what that is? So that, you look at your call display at home. They can make their phone number on your call display, first of all, look like it's coming from a Canadian number. And in some cases, they can actually make it look like it's coming from a legitimate Canada Revenue Agency phone number. That means you really can't trust your call display all the time. So there's a simple way, I guess, to make sure you're not vulnerable to this. Yeah, if you want to avoid becoming a victim, the Canada Revenue Agency will never begin a communication with you by phone. They will always send you a letter first. They will rarely call you. Good rule of thumb, if you weren't expecting the CRA to call, hang up. Simple as that. And uh, it's, it was a fascinating story. You're going to have a lot more tomorrow night on Marketplace. Thanks, David. Thank you.